Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. XRP has made a ton of millionaires, multi-millionaires, and, and beyond, frankly, in the past. And I believe that it's going to happen again during this market cycle. And I want to share with you some success stories because it's just fun, especially in light of what's happened uh, recently with the price action of XRP. There's a nice positive vibe within the XRP community. And given that the last three years, roughly, have been bear activity slash sideways movement, and then you got the whole SEC debacle, them going after Ripple claiming XRP is an underestimated security, let's have a little fun. And let's let's talk about some success stories, because I, I bet there are people listening to this channel right now that are going to make truly life-changing wealth from XRP. Um, I also do believe that there's all sorts of people that are going to get wrecked and lose a ton of money because they don't know what the hell they're doing. Crypto is risky and volatile, and some people are just playing with fire, and they're using emotions to determine buying and selling. And so I, I recognize there's that side of it as well, but hey, we're all adults. We've all got to make our own decisions here. But uh, I want to share with you some success stories that I do think you'll find very genuinely fascinating, including this one from you today. It's titled, XRP turned this gas station worker into a millionaire. Now, I do want to be clear that I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say all right. Uh, I, I'm just an enthusiast that makes YouTube videos as a fun hobby about XRP and Ripple and crypto, but that's all that it is. There's nothing special about me, just my unprofessional opinions will be shared here. And uh, by the way, I just want to mention this too. I'm not going to go through these articles, but this is fun from Cointelegraph. XRP price surges 55% to a three-year high amid push for financial inclusivity. And, and it's, it's gone up, it went up higher, actually, uh, since then, uh, substantially, actually. Um, but it's, it's interesting to see how the media is reporting on this. Like, to me, that's a reasonable headline. That's fine. Uh, we XRP holders, happy to see stuff like this. XRP outperforming Bitcoin, all this is a real thing. But then you've got this from Coindesk covering the same story, and they wrote... XRP hits two-month price high in wake of Ether rally. So there you go. Uh, it's, it's Ether that caused all of this. They're looking at a shorter time frame to make XRP look less awesome instead of wording it. Because you, you, you get to decide your narrative. You know, If you're a coin desk, you don't like Ripple and XRP, apparently. The, the, the people that write here, my gosh, there's a reason that they're known as FUD desk, Fear, Uncertainty, and Doubt desk. Uh, but the truth is that XRP is outperforming Bitcoin. It's up over three, 300% year to date. And they wanted to talk about a two month window that was led, uh, that's a price high, uh, led by Ether. All right, thanks for nothing. Freaking jerks. <laughs> All right, uh, take a look at this. Are you guys familiar with Keemstar? Keemstar is a rather popular individual all up on the YouTubes. Uh, here you can see on Twitter he's got 2.8 million followers and he's got a YouTube channel with um, coming up on 6 million subscribers actually, unrelated to crypto, but he is interested in crypto, uh, specifically XRP, and he's been sharing with his followers what he's been doing regarding XRP and it's staggering, mind-blowing, very bold, and so far paying off very well for him. So here you can see, here's a tweet this year, January 17th. He, he had a screen grab here, and he bought 1 million XRP for $276,000. 1 million XRP, he purchased $276 million. And he wrote the following, I am not a financial advisor. I am a degenerate gambler. May the crypto gods be with me. Let's win slash settle this lawsuit and see $2 XRP. Hashtag XRP. And, and so I talked to him and he, 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 he said there are all sorts of, uh, all sorts of people that were just telling him like, he's an idiot, this or that. Like it was venomous. The, like the people that were coming out, I'm sure of them, a lot of them were uh, from the Bitcoin community, uh, just absolutely vicious saying, this is stupid. You're going to lose your money. You're going to get totally wrecked. Uh, and so, you know, right there, he bought this at 27.6 cents. That's what XRP was when he when he purchased that, right? Well, um, he retweeted that today and wrote, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sorry guys. He wrote, check out the replies and quote retweets. They called me stupid. They said XRP is going to zero. My $276,000 investment in January is now worth $820,000. Whew. 
hey credit where it's due man it took guts to do that and there's no guarantee of any of this like i always acknowledge that investing in, in crypto including xrp is risky i happen to have strong conviction and so i'm not scared by it i sleep easy at night but i still am happy to acknowledge it like this is the most volatile market on the planet and there is not a close second in that regard and then uh, you see this from from keemstar wrote, lol who's going to tell him and so in response to that tweet from January in which he, he shared that he bought a million XRP, somebody named Cloud responded. He actually retweeted that and wrote the following because he, he's, not, he's not, clearly not convinced of uh, XRP's longevity. He wrote, please don't. It's going to 10 cents soon. If you bought Nano, you could have like 85,000 Nano. Too bad you can't even sell off now. Sinking ship. So... So, gosh, yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah, you just, yeah, I hate to see it. So wrong. Actually, I don't hate to see it. My, and this is what you were getting from all sorts of people, which is why I keep saying, like, from my perspective, the whole market's just moving in tandem. People are overcomplicating this, and it's it's not about, fund like, people have indicated uh, last market cycle and this market cycle that fundamentals take backseat to wild speculation based on nothing that matters. It's just that's how. So if we believe the market's going to go higher, Bitcoin's going to go higher, and altcoins in general, XRP's coming along for the ride. Let's not over overcomplicate this. I think it's that simple. Um, that's just my humble opinion. And so, uh, wow, he's 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 up substantially. That's why I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people listening to this video right now are going to make life changing wealth, but be careful. Because some people are going to royally mess up emotionally, buy and sell. Some people might hold too long this market cycle. Uh, like there's all sorts of stuff that can go wrong. So you got to be careful out there. I'm not pretending it's not risky. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to keep this even keeled as possible while still sharing that my genuine excitement for what's going on. But uh, XRP has already made so many people insanely wealthy. And I firmly believe we're going to be seeing that again. Once this market cycle is done... I'll be happy to, sh to make all sorts of videos with, with uh, all sorts of people that found that level of success and, f and made that life-changing wealth because that's cool stuff and that should be celebrated because it takes guts to do this because right now holding XRP is not a popular thing to do. I mean, really, even Bitcoin, if you consider most humans on the planet, like most people not interested in doing this, like even holding Bitcoin, which is the most popular cryptocurrency, uh, that's... <laughs> It's not, it's not the mainstream viewpoint, even if it's slowly creeping into that. XRP is not even close to a popular uh, opinion, like the idea of whether or not this, it makes sense to hold that. And so then there's this piece now from, uh, from you today. XRP turned this gas station worker into millionaire. Here's his new bet. Early cryptocurrency adopter Daniel Mayard, who became a millionaire because of his timely bet on XRP, told Sydney-based media outlet The Hustle, that he had been heavily investing into non-fungible tokens for the past year. After a series of major buys, Maggard currently owns a whopping $12 million worth of NFTs. He's not eager to cash out, recently rejecting a $4.2 million offer for his CryptoPunk number 8348 artwork. Uh, Maggard is convinced that crypto and NFTs are here to stay. And by the way, I'm convinced of that as well. I haven't delved into NFTs myself, but um, there's there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding them. Which which platforms which offer these these non fungible tokens are going to have staying power? Because if you purchase something, even if in a vacuum where like that that's the that's the platform that's adopted, even if that would make sense then. Well, if you purchase something on a platform that goes the way of the dodo, my favorite extinct avian creature, you could just lose everything anyway. And so that's part of the risk. Like what's what's going to have staying power still I, I do think there's something to it so i'm not trying to say that this is stupid or shouldn't happen just in, in a general sense um some of the prices some of the people are paying for some of these non-fungible tokens are absurd but <laughs> that's just my subjective opinion uh but here's a quote from him i want to maximize my gains it may all go to zero tomorrow but i think crypto and nfts are here to stay and i'm willing to take the bet for a chance to level up uh, and so then they have this little sub in a reg, regs to riches story. Maggard was a poor psychology student who was trying to make ends meet by working at a gas station. But one BBC article about Bitcoin proved to be life changing for him. After taking a cryptocurrency deep dive, he decided to put all of his money, $4,000, into Bitcoin when the cryptocurrency was trading at roughly $150 in 2013. 
he was lucky enough to get into crypto in the middle of its first major bull run. When early Bitcoiners started cashing out their gains at the end of 2013, Maggard took a left turn by betting on XRP, the cryptocurrency affiliated with distributed ledger company Ripple, when it was trading below uh, 0 0.005 cents. So, you know, you're talking quite literally there, less than half a penny is what he was paying. Uh, and what is it now, close to a buck, somewhere around there? And so this bet turned him into a millionaire by 2017 when crypto was finally going mainstream. So think about this. And this is why I'm saying, like, I firmly believe so many people are still going to get rich through. Like, it's, it's all perspective. So back in 2013, when he was purchasing Bitcoin for $150, even then people were saying, oh, my gosh, I got in so late. It's $150 now. Oh, why couldn't I get in when it was just a matter of pennies or a, or a, or a dollar? $150 now. And so, you, you know, if your time horizon is long enough, you know, and if, assuming this all continues to be adopted and it's genuinely useful and all that, the, the prices today, even right now, for XRP and Bitcoin are going to look like peanuts if there's going to be true staying power, if globally adopted. Uh, that's what I think anyway. And that's not financial advice. I'm just sharing with you what I personally believe. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I, I feel very strongly about that. And so sitting here with this new asset class that's only been around for like 12 years, my gosh, there's barely any money in it. If this, if this asset class is truly adopted and if XRP is going to have staying power, just like so you, you could sit here and be like, oh, XRP has been around, you know, roughly eight years. It's already almost a buck. It looks like nothing. Well, are you sure? What, what about another 10 years from now? What's it going to look like if it truly has staying power? Which I think it could. There's a question mark still. Because, like, I'm not one of these people that does the hashtag zero dot thing. I, and I can respect people that do that when they, the, there's all sorts of people in the XRP community that say, hashtag, they, they type hashtag zero dot on Twitter. And I respect it. That's fine. I get what you're saying. You have a high level of confidence. Uh, maybe some people literally mean that they have no doubt, uh, which to me is too far. Uh, I, I think it's reasonable to think, to have confidence in something, but say, I could be wrong. I don't know for sure. I just feel very, very strongly. And, and I and that's me. I have strong conviction. XRP is my largest crypto holding. I do think it's going to be worth substantially more, but I don't know for sure. I could be wrong. It could go to zero. Of course. I, I think that's a healthier perspective. But to anybody else that says that, yeah, I'm not going to get anyone's case about it. But I just think it's more precise and more intellectually honest and a, a more realistic position to just say, oh, yes, I'm very confident. But who knows? You, you can't know for sure. But, but all that to say, if, if this really is going to have staying power, holy hell, like people are going to make still an absolute killing. There's almost no money in XRP even today with XRP at uh, you know hovering as i record this now close to the one dollar range it, it, it's not, what are you talking about a market cap i don't know what it is right now 40 billion or maybe a little more than that something like that well bitcoin's over a trillion and it's not done so there's almost no money in this so think about how little money has to flow in to get this tremendous multiplier effect <laughs> what happens over the course of this market cycle which may end this year it may go into 2022 i don't know however long it goes it's going to be truly life-changing for so many people. I want to share with you one more success story here from an early investor. Um, but again, I want to say this too, like we'll look like early investors given enough time. Okay. Th that's what I believe. We will look like early investors. Uh, but right now, I mean, it's, you know, this is current times. This is the edge of the, uh, of the timeline of the universe for us. Right. And so this is it, but eh, let time pass. <laughs> but uh, here's a piece from Forbes from February 7th, 2018. Titled, Mellon Banking Air's New Crypto Fortune, Almost $1 Billion in XRP. Uh, and this is about Matthew Mellon, who unfortunately passed away a couple months uh, after this. Forbes ended up reporting that it was due to something um, drug-related. So um, I don't know if that was just speculation or it was true, but it was covered in a Forbes article. But I'll just leave it on that because that's not the purpose of this, this video. <laughs> but anyway, check this out. This heir to one of America's great banking fortunes, and a former chair of the New York Republican Party's Finance Committee, uh, has struggled with drug addiction. So when he began dabbling heavily in cryptocurrencies years ago, his friends and family tried to dissuade him, figuring it was another erratic obsession. Yeah, how many of you out there listening have had uh, friends or family look at you kind of sideways like, what the hell are you doing? Crypto, XRP, I'm sure tons of you have had that. I've been hit with that from some friends. And it's not gonna. It's not going well for them now. <laughs> you know, it's it's not. You know, you just wait till this market cycle's over. But uh, you know, if, 
I'm not a, like I'm not gonna throw it in their faces, but if I wanted to, I, I'm convinced I could have a "see, I told you so" moment, a strong one. But anyway, I'm sure that I'm not the only one that's encountered this. By the way, peace continues. And indeed, he abandoned some early investments and sold his Bitcoin a few years ago. But then Mellon got turned on to XRP, spending some $2 million to acquire coins, which he liked because it's one of the few cryptocurrencies that are working within the banking system. Crypto is scary and dark. It's anti-America, says Mellon54. I am pro-America, pro-business, and pro-bank. That's why I went with Ripple. Well, I do disagree with him on the point of it being anti-America. It it's, has nothing to do specifically with America. It's not like it's anti... It, it's, it's not at its core. It's not like there's something coded into it that's anti-government and bank. Like, banks can adapt uh, for, to, to cryptocurrency in a changing environment here. And so I don't think it's scary. I don't think it's dark. And I don't think it's anti-that. It's just my opinion. That's fine. Uh, you can disagree. But anyway, Mellon's XRP is worth around $1 billion. Recently divorced, he parties in a posh Las Vegas house. He rents for $150,000 a month. It's $1 billion virtually free. I actually have earned it because I was the only person who was willing to raise his hand, Mellon, says Mellon. My family thought I was insane when I knew it was a home run. So he, he bought, spent $2 million in XRP at less than half a penny. Uh, turned into a billion dollars. People thought that he was nuts, and so this is what it is. This is hold. That's why I was saying a few minutes ago, holding XRP, like the the idea of whether or not that's a good thing to do. Uh, broadly speaking, people would say no, just in a general sense. Most people don't think so, but if we're right, well, that's where the opportunity is. If everybody already agreed that XRP is like the one or, or one of the the many cryptocurrencies that have staying power, or one of the few that have staying power. Well, if that were already understood and accepted and known, there wouldn't be opportunity. The fact that we believe this, we're betting against the majority. And if we're right, there's great fortunes to be made, potentially. And if we're wrong, we could lose everything. That's the reality of it, I think. I'm No, I'm optimistic, though. I'm very optimistic. I'm excited about all of this. I would not sleep easy if I didn't have my exposure to crypto and specifically XRP, which is my biggest holding. So... I don't know, I thought this would be fun to talk about this stuff. I don't usually make videos quite like this, but in light of everything that's been happening with all this exciting price action, I thought I'd share with you some success stories. People that, uh, you know, went against the grain and uh, invested in XRP when people thought that it didn't make a damn bit of sense and they came out better for it financially on the other end. And again, I think that tons of people listening here, I hope, actually, I'm hoping I'll be part of this group. I think many people listening, though, uh, are, are going to make just crazy amounts of money this market cycle. So just be careful, though, because you got to understand there's there's a lot of volatility, there's a lot of risk, and you can lose everything if you don't know what the hell you're doing or if this doesn't go the way we think and hope that it will. But I, I'm not trying to be a bummer in saying that I'm just a realist. That's just the way I'm wired by nature. But I am an optimist also. I'm a realist and I'm an optimist, and, but I think for good logical reason. Um, I, I think that all the people that are emotionally buying and selling, they don't make a bunch of sense. I think there is long-term utility here. Um, there, I think there can be. It's, it's being you know dis discovered right now. But uh, I'll wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.